blessed us with the health and strength that we could come. And it's all because of Him. And so we hope this morning that you'll look to Him and realize that God has got the answers. Certainly this morning in a time of trouble, He's our strength and courage. And we know this morning that He's got all things under control. Just have our faith to look up to Him. And so we want to sing you a song this morning. And the name of it is Because He Lives, uh, Because He Loved Me. And uh, certainly this morning, because He loves you and I, He gave His life that we could have hope of abundant life. And so I hope this morning it'll be a blessing to you. And so uh, just think about it this morning. He loves you. When the world seems dark and cold and, and nobody cares this morning, He still cares. And so let's look to Him. Home. On a hill called Calvary, Jesus, my Lord, suffered for me, carried the cross all the way, my sins to Christ died for the lost. He said he come to seek and to save that which is lost. And certainly this morning, it had to be a sacrifice of him to, for you and for me so that we could live. And certainly this morning, I'm, I'm glad of that because it don't cost no money. And you know, that's what's wrong with the world today. If we put a price on it, they'd, they'd probably want to buy it. But I'm glad it can't be bought. I'm glad this morning that it's free, you know, come free, come freely and take of the water of life. And certainly this morning you can, you can have it by faith and believing in Him. You have to believe upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I, I like that, you know, because that's simple, isn't it? The world's got a lot of religion, a lot of things going on, and you have to do this and do that. 
that the only requirement that he requires of you and I is to believe upon his name. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's why he come into this world for, to die for you and I. And so this morning, because he loved me and he loves you, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever would believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Hey, listen this morning, the poor and the rich and all, whoever this morning can have hope of eternal life. And certainly we'll look at a little scripture this morning found in the 26th chapter of the book of Matthew. And we will read it in your hearing. Jesus made his journey uh, to Jerusalem and to give his life a ransom. And certainly it was no easy task because, you know, uh, he had feelings like we uh, do because he was man in the flesh. He came, the Bible said, the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory of the, of the only begotten Son of God. So He had the pain and sorrow, uh, you know, that you and I have in this walk of life, and He took it upon Him uh, that, uh, you know, to go to the cross for our sins. And certainly this morning, we can't probably imagine all the pain and suffering he done for us but he did it because he loved us you know as he looked out uh, on the cross there the Bible said that he, he he looked out and he said father forgive them for they know not what they do he was determined to go to the cross and die for you and I this morning the Bible said a, deter a determinate counsel uh, took him and tried him but they found no fault in him uh, so you know this morning that's the way it is we find no fault in this man called Jesus that he was willing to go and suffer for you and I so that we could have life and have it more abundantly so I hope this morning it'll be a blessing to you as we look into the scriptures we find over here in the 36th verse of, of the book of the 26th chapter of the book of Matthew and it says, Then cometh Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and, uh, and, and saith unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then saith he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thy will. And he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them asleep and saith unto Peter, What, could ye not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak. He went away again the second time and prayed, saying, O oh, my Father, if this cup may not pass away from me except I drink it, thy will be done. And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. And he left them and went away again and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Then he cometh to his disciples, and he saith unto them, Sleep on now, and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Amen. Listen, this morning, uh, certainly he went there to the garden, and he prayed. The Bible said there in another place, he said that his sweat came as it were great drops of blood. Certainly this morning, as he said, his, his soul was exceedingly sorrow even unto death. Oh, listen this morning. No doubt uh, he carried a burden uh, for you and I. Carried us, carried our sins to the cross this morning. I'm certainly glad and thankful for it. And the Bible said here, then he went a little farther. I'm glad that he did. Uh, listen this morning. He didn't give up. He went all the way for you and I. Certainly this morning he said the Spirit's willing, but the flesh is weak. And certainly I no doubt that it was. But listen this morning. He was willing and determined uh, to please the Father. Uh, not as my will, he said, but thy will 
be done. So this morning the Father's will had to be done. He was the sacrifice for the sin of the world. So you see this morning he was willing to drink the bitter cup to taste death for every man. I'm glad of that, aren't you, this morning? I certainly am glad that he went there I willing to conquer death, hell, and the grave for you and I. See this morning uh, they thought they got rid of this man when they hung him on that cross and he died there as, uh, uh, certainly on that cross but listen this morning they buried him in the borrowed tomb but listen on the third and glorious day he rose from the dead uh, victorious over death hell and the grave but he went a little further this morning than any man no greater love hath any man than death than he'd lay down his life for his friends I'm glad this morning that he did the sacrifice listen this morning the Lamb of God as John said there as he saw him coming he said behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world certainly this morning and if you want your sin took away this morning the blood uh, that she was shed on that cross will cover your sin did you know that uh, that's what it takes to be saved this morning to believe the blood still there this morning I'm glad listen and it still cleanses us from our sin uh, certainly this morning it took the blood sacrifice as a lamb slain uh, from the foundation of the world aren't you glad this morning that he was willing to drink the bitter cup he was willing to go a little further than any man could ever go uh, you see this morning uh, that's the reason that God's will had to be worked this morning it was a, a supreme sacrifice for the sin of the whole world the blood this morning that he shed there on the cross still cover sin I listen this morning if you go to heaven you'll have to go by the cross the one that died for you there on that cross of Calvary that went a little further and I got to thinking too about him going a little further uh, you see this morning he'll go further than anyone he'll not just get you by he'll see you through he'll go all the way listen this morning he ain't give up you see this morning after he died and rose again he went back to the father but he said I'll send you another comforter that'll lead you and guide you and always true and so you see this morning uh, he went a little Father, he sent us a comforter that will comfort our hearts in this walk of life. Uh, uh, the spirit that directs our heart in the ways of truth. I'm glad this morning uh, that he did that. He went a little further. He'll supply all our need according to his riches and glory through him this morning. If you need it this morning, he'll supply it according to his will. I'm uh, not my wants and not the world's want. He come this morning to provide that need uh, for salvation for whosoever will. Ain't you glad of that this morning? He's still the sin, supreme sacrifice. He went a little further and he'll go all the way. Uh, listen, he told them over there, I uh, remember, he said, no, my all that my father gave me, he said, I've lost none. He said, no man could pluck them out of his hand. So you see this morning, if we are born again of the Holy Spirit, we believe in him. Uh, listen this morning where he is and certainly this morning we're sealed by the holy promise of that holy spirit and we'll be redeemed one day after a while so you see this morning that's what's so good about it he went a little further and amen this morning he went all the way for mankind and certainly this morning the sacrifice that was given on the cross is sufficient for today we don't need no new religions we don't need all this stuff going on all we got need this morning is the word of God I certainly it'll be sufficient I'm brother listen this morning I'm, if we get to heaven we'll go through uh, him this morning because he loves you and he loved me enough to die on the cross of Calvary. To drink the bitter cup, I listen to taste death uh, so that you and I this morning. I like what the Apostle Paul uh, wrote to us over there in the 15th chapter of the book of Corinthians. He said, O death, where's thy sting? O grave, where's thy victory? He said, the strength of sin is the law and the sting of death is sin. But thanks be unto God that give us us the victory through 
through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He won the victory. I listen this morning over death, hell, and the grave. And so we can be thankful for it. So look up this morning and realize he went a little further. He went all the way. No man uh, this morning went as far as he did. But he went there. Why? Because he loved me and he loves you. So you see this morning we can have hope because he went all the way. If he had not went, we wouldn't have had that hope. But this morning that hope lies. The Bible said it's an anchor of the soul. So you see this morning hope in him that he went all the way. So I'm glad this morning that he did. If you need a savior this morning, he's yours. If you want him, call upon him. Seek him, the Bible said, while he's nigh. Listen this morning, the word of God is going out to our people throughout our communities and our land today. I listen this morning, what a time that we're living in and all the things that are going on. They ain't but one hope, and that's in Jesus Christ this morning because he went a little further, because he went all the way. Our Redeemer liveth this morning. I, I certainly this morning, if you want a Savior, he's there for you. If you call all upon him are the word that we speak, the word that we preach to you uh, throughout our land today is the word of God. That word uh, that was made flesh and dwelled among us. Amen. Listen this morning and went to the cross to die for our sin. And certainly this morning, if you want hope, uh, listen this morning in the world running around, what are we going to do? Uh, listen this morning. Um, uh, he's the antidote. He's the vaccine this morning for all that's wrong with this world so you see this morning because why he went a little further uh, to die for our sins on the cross and without him without the supreme sacrifice there'd be no hope so you see with Jesus there's hope this morning look up to him looking unto Jesus he's the author and finish of our faith he's the one uh, that sits at the right hand of the father the Bible said he went there to sit at the right hand of the Father to make intercession for you and I. You see this morning I like what Peter said over there uh, in the book of Acts. He said this is the stone which is set at naught of the builders which has become the head of the corner neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name given under heaven among men whereby we must be saved. So you see this morning there is hope in Jesus because why? He went a little further. He went all the way to lay down his life for you and for me. So I hope this morning you'll look to Jesus. Thank you for paying attention. I listened this morning. Um, a good news from a far country, as I've said before, because it is from a far country. I listened that country that we're seeking, as Abraham did, uh, that city whose builder and maker is God. The Bible said he left here. He told a disciple, that he go to prepare a place, and when he gets it finished, he'll come and he'll receive us unto him. So I hope this morning you've got hope in the Lord. Remember, he went all the way. He went a little further than any man could go. Greater love hath no man than this. He laid down his life for his friends. Thank you for listening. May God bless you and bless the people at Mount Vernon. We appreciate them and all that they're doing for the glory of God. Uplift the name of the Lord. Exalt Him because He's worthy of it. Listen this morning and that's what it's all about. Bless your heart. We thank you for your attention.